Hi, my name is Dig, and I wood burn custom art onto guitars. And I get a lot of questions about that, about my process of wood burning art onto guitars. So I wanted to spend a few moments today talking with you about that. I also get a lot of questions about if and how and to what extent wood burning might affect a guitar, specifically an acoustic guitar. And that is the topic for another video that I'm working on and I'm excited to bring that to you. But for today, we're gonna to talk general points of wood burning a guitar. So, one of the first things that needs to happen if you want me to wood burn a guitar is we need to get a guitar in my hands. So that can look any number of different ways. That can happen any number of different ways. Some people will send me a guitar that they already have. That's what Michael Franti did, if you're familiar with the American artist. By the name of Michael Franti, he had me do a Cole Clark, which is an Australian brand guitar for him, would burn a guitar with specific designs that we came up with together based on his tattoos and his ideas. And it was a great honor to do and a great experience. And he sent me that guitar. I would burned it, I sent it back to him. That's one way that you can do it if you have a guitar that you wanna to send to me. Other people have a luthier, a guitar maker that they're working with and they'll have that luthier send me a guitar. And when a luthier sends me a guitar, that might look like just the body of a guitar, in the case of an electric, or in the case of an acoustic, they might send me just the soundboard, which is the top piece of wood on an acoustic. Other people have no idea what they want. They might be getting the guitar for someone as a gift, they might be new to playing, or they're just not sure what kind of guitar they should get for this project. So I'm available and happy to help people make that decision. We'll look at guitars, we'll talk about specs, we'll talk about what might work best for their hand size, for their body size, for the kind of music that they want to play. There's a lot of things to consider, and I'm there for the person who's buying a guitar to help walk through that process. So once the guitar that I'm gonna wood burn is decided upon, then that gets sent to me. And I can begin the second part of the process, which is preparing the guitar to wood burn. Now, in the case of guitars that come from a luthier, those are usually unfinished, meaning they don't have a sealant or a, a finish of, of lacquer or polyurethane or what have you on it. And then I can get straight to work doing a tracing of the body of the guitar in preparation for wood burning. In the case of guitars that come from a factory with a finish on them, then I have to remove that finish. And how I remove that finish just depends on the type of finish. So um, some finishes need to be sanded off. Some finishes can be chemically removed. It just really depends and has to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. Once the, f once the finish is removed, then I can take a tracing of the guitar and once the tracing is done, then I can move on to the next step, which is designing the artwork for the guitar. And this can manifest any number of different ways. Some people want to be very involved in the creation of the artwork for their guitar, and other people would much prefer a hands-off approach. Uh, people will send me copious amounts of reference material, which I love when people do that because it really gives me some insight into what their internal vision for this instrument is. And as I said, other people have a more, I've seen your work, whatever you do is going to be great. We want you to let your creative juices flow kind of attitude. And that is completely fine too. It just really depends on the temperament of the client. I'm happy to receive as much reference material as you want to send and incorporate that into the design. And I also feel totally confident running free and creating a design totally from imagination with a little inspiration and direction from the client or no inspiration and direction from the client. I've had clients that don't even want to see the design until the guitar is completed. So it just depends. And once the design is established and the client has approved of the design, 
then I'll take that tracing paper and I'll transfer that design to the wood of the guitar. Once that's done, then I can commence wood burning. And the process of wood burning a guitar can take a lot of time. It can take anywhere from 40 to 60 hours, depending on the design. And in terms of the design, really the sky's the limit. I can wood burn pretty much anything onto a guitar. So people have me do abstract designs. Some people have me do tribal designs. Some people have me do realistic designs, um, more portrait style. Again, the sky's the limit, so really whatever you can imagine, we can make work. Um, I love wood-burning guitars. I consider it a great honor, and I am grateful that people trust me with their prized instrument to create art on it. And a wood-burned guitar is something that when I see the joy on the faces of people who have a customized guitar that's been wood burned by me, it, it's an extremely gratifying experience. And again, I consider it a great honor and I'm really grateful to be able to share this experience with people. And a wood burned guitar is something that, it just means so much to people and it's, it's the kind of thing that stays in a family for generations to come. So um, it's a great investment from that point of view. And once the wood burning process is completed, then I can move on to the final stages, the final steps, which involve the finish of the guitar. And that can be a polyurethane finish, it can be a lacquer finish, it can be uh, something like a gunstock finish. I will work with a variety of finishes depending on how the rest of the body of the guitar has been finished or depending on the kind of finish that the client wants. And once the finish is completed, which is a process in and of itself, but once that's completed and fully cured, then the guitar is ready to be sent back to the person who it's going to, whether it's a new owner or whether I'm sending a guitar that you already had back to you. So that is in a nutshell the process of wood burning your guitar from my point of view. I hope that answered some of your questions and shed some light on the different steps that are involved in creating custom artwork on a guitar. And stay tuned for more videos on the behind the scenes aspects of wood burning guitars. Thanks for tuning in.